Hey guys, Tim here. This time with some XSPC water blocking on an R9 290. Stay tuned. So that's right, finally a new video, guys. Uh, first, I want to say if you've never seen the channel before, please go down and click that subscribe button right now because you're going to want to stay tuned for many more videos. Uh, for the rest of you that are already subscribed, that support the channel, thank you a lot, and sorry there haven't been any videos for a while. I've been sick and unmotivated, but we're getting back on that horse by finishing my water cooling build, and part of that is putting the water blocks on the GPUs. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so as you can tell, I'm obviously working on stuff because there is crap everywhere. We got tubing and fittings and screwdrivers and... So, obviously guys, on these, let's zoom in a little here, uh, on these, you're going to want to be really careful of all oh, the little components down the sides. So what I'm going to do, and this is kind of, uh, you know, bodes against, you know, what I would ever tell anybody, is I'm going to start out using some paper napkins. Now, why am I going to do this? I'm going to do it because... I want to be able to crease a really hard corner as sharp as I can get so that when I uh, use the uh, rubbing alcohol what I'm gonna do after I get it all over the place nice thing about rubbing alcohol it just evaporates what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go and of course you know making sure you hold the card as best you can to not touch components I'm going to try to go down the sides and get all this excess material off. First, I want to get a little bit on the, the GPU itself so I can just start working away. But you have a very small window, you know, to not touch these components and get this, like, gook of overflow out. See, that one did pretty good. So this side's definitely gooped on. Sorry if you can't really see, but... Also trying to not destroy my card while I'm at this. You can see there's like kind of a fine line there. And you're just trying to like really hard not to touch. There we go. Here we have the components. Because like I said, all of these little circuits around here are very fragile. So now that that's done, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want fibers all over the place. It has done its job admirably. Whoops. And we're going to switch over to, of course, the old TP. Okay, so we're back and we have the card all cleaned up. Everything's ready to go. And now we just have to get out the old thermal pads and unbox the sexy, sexy excess PC parts. Got the card out. I've already wiped down the copper surfaces with a little bit of rubbing alcohol again. So we are ready to set this aside for now. And of course, this is the pack. It comes with the plugs and some other stuff. We'll go over that in a minute. But I also have a back plate, which comes with other more different screws and the back plate itself. So we'll go over that in a minute. But first, we're going to go ahead and set this guy out of the way because it also dazzles the camera because that copper is really bright. We're going to go ahead and apply some the thermal pads first. Nice thing here is all of these are pre-cut already, as long as you follow the instructions, which are off to my left, in case anybody is curious. Then you don't have to worry about it. But let's go ahead and uh, do a little time lapse in. Now we come to honestly the most important part which is the thermal paste so you don't want too much you don't want too little and uh, I'm just gonna do the best I can you can all make fun of me later let's try to put a line down the middle ish um, you're trying to get full coverage on the GPU uh, so you want more a little bit more than you know the grain of rice uh, but you don't want so much that it's going to get out into those little tiny chips and short something out. 
So now we can sit the water block itself down on top and you're trying to just get these you know this I use these two in the corner on this block uh, as close as you can to the right spot sit it up on a corner of something I'm using the case it's actually going to go in uh, because the bracket the 2u bracket or 2u two, two slot bracket uh, sticks out so if you sat this down and tried to do this you get an angle on it and it wouldn't mount correctly now I said I was going to talk about plugs and things earlier so here is the pack that comes with it you see the plugs and stuff in there here are the screws for the back plate and you have to use these because they got to go all the way through and they're black instead of silver so you definitely want to use them so what we have to do is we have to go around and put these little red washers everywhere a screw is going to go you don't put washers on this card on these last three something i'll talk about when i get this all together because aesthetically i don't like what it makes the the back plate look like um, but it's not the end of the world so now that we have all those on there we're going to take our back plate which is right here and the little cutout goes where the fcc and the test points are and you just want to line it up as best you can and try not to move the little washers is i like to get these ones in and make sure they're seated well, but I'm not going to screw anything in. I just like to get them started so they're down in their little hole. So it'll help the back plate stay in position. And then I go around all the other ones, trying really hard, guys, not to move those little washers. Because if you have to take the back plate off to move one washer, uh, you're not going to be real happy with yourself. So I start with the GPU itself and I just tighten, you know, to where it's pretty easily, you know, still a little loose, but, you know, there's a little tension on the card. And sometimes you got to wiggle the back plate around to get them started, but. You want to tighten these in a cross pattern. Okay guys, so there we have it. Uh, obviously I just cross pattern tighten these and then I actually kind of cross pattern tighten the outside. Came back in and just made sure that the GPU was tight. Don't over tighten guys. You can always come back in and make things a little bit tighter. You can never come back in and fix a broken GPU because you over tightened a screw. Now the thing that bugs me here are these two drilled out screw holes. So there is a PCB on the back side, but as you can see, it does not go all the way through. So basically I think this is, I have a really early version of these. Um, it would have been really nice to see those covered or for them to give you some kind of little nut so that you could still put in, you know, one of these. And then just have it sit there and not actually do anything. So, shame on you, XSPC. Uh, you know, this back plate was 40 bucks, and I would expect better than that. So, calling you out. Uh, stuff like this is stuff that makes me not, you know, repurchase things from manufacturers. So, uh, unfortunately, you could not tell that from the website or from uh, Frozen CPU. And I just, at this point, I'm kind of past caring. I might just take a little bit of like um, Loctite and just glue them in because they don't do anything and they don't touch anything. I just want the look. However, we do need the plugs and if I can get them out here, ah, screws everywhere. So basically it comes with five plugs because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outlets. And just plug up which ones you don't need and which ones you do and leave them open. And in this case, we're doing SLI, SLI, SLI. Oh, AMD Roy is gonna kill me. We're doing Crossfire R9 290s. 
You'll see that in the update coming next, probably, of my personal build. This is Tim. For Timmy Tech TV, guys, please subscribe, thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on how you feel about this video. Check out my Amazon affiliate link uh, down in the description. If you like to support channels, just remember that I'm the one that does the giveaways and gives back to the community. So you can go help out channels that are going to take your money and use it for themselves, or you can help a channel that gives it right back to you guys. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Guys, thanks for the support. We'll see you next time.